Hi. Um, so my plan this evening is to do a seven minute self-portrait and I'm going to use watered down Indian ink. Um, I've got it in the tub here and I'm going to use some um, oil pastel, just white oil pastel and I've also got some neat Indian ink which I'm going to draw with a stick with I think. That's my plan so far. I'm kind of conscious that I'm maybe being overheard by uh, our lovely neighbours. So. Um, but I want you to be able to see me and hi. Actually, you know, it's a bit ambitious to be able to see me and the reflection and the picture. So I'm just going to start and hopefully you'll see enough. <clears throat> okay. So I've dipped the paper towel into the Indian ink. It's well watered down, so it's grey. And I'm going to steady myself now and just have a look of where the <coughs> shadows are falling. <coughs> okay. I'm just catching the last of the evening light, really. And I don't mind if things overshoot, like if the body overshoots there. I'm just looking for some orange. I think I might use some of this. <coughs> I was saying I don't mind if it overshoots because um, I quite like having something to re react against with the white oil pastel I can bring it back in. Okay, so I've just put some fluorescent orange ink into the black ink there and I quite like the effect of that. It gives it a little bit more of a skin-like quality so I'm going to use that again. I'll just do this. Um, okay because I want to bring some warmth into this skin of the face here. And there's the ear. And the light is falling here, so some bits of hair sticking up. To have that same kind of burnt sienna look to them. And then the socket of the eye, even on that side, will have some shadow to it. I'll do a bit more, a bit more with the ink. And then there's this grey chalk that might work for the jumper. I'm going to use some do. I'll just use the white. So this is the white oil pastel and there's a lovely line here where the jaw stops. It's still a bit wet but it's okay. And then the other ear. Okay. 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 Right. I'm feeling like I want to use some chalk or charcoal or something now. piece of black charcoal that'll do hopefully it won't tear the paper now that the paper is a bit wet it's not a hugely heavy paper <clears throat> there's just a few things that I want to capture there's the ear on the other side which will be lower than the ear on this side some crayons there. There's a bit of, there's a nice warm red colour in the crayons that I thought would work. I like the feel of the crayons there. 
keine Natürdamen. So do a bit of the ink again. Okay, right now, what am I doing? I think I need to do something to define. I want to define the um, eyebrows and things, so I'm actually just going to use some neat Indian ink rather than the charcoal because it being already wet, it's tricky to dry, use the dried charcoal on top of that without tearing the paper. So let's see, eyebrows. And then the underside of the nose there. And of course I'll need to stop talking when I get to the mouth. will work for mid-tone. Okay, so I want to describe the side of the face a little bit more, chin a little bit more, the side of the nose a little bit more. Okay, we will just give another minute. All right, I'm quite happy with the grey now that's allowing me to find the form with the face a little bit more clearly and again I'm going to be quiet now till the end so I can do my mouth this after you've gone and uh, you're about to go any second now so I'll uh, talk to you tomorrow and I'll put the, the finished one on Facebook